Hello everyone, General Apple here with another Magic the Gathering video and this time featuring a deck that I like to call Saddle Up and the reason I named it so it's because it's a Golgari midrange deck that features the new card Caustic Bronco. Now in case you don't know what Caustic Bronco does, we should actually give it a real quick read. It's basically a 2 mana 2-2 two -two, uh, that says whenever Caustic Bronco attacks, reveal the top card of your library and put it into your hand. You lose life equal to that card mana value if Caustic Bronco isn't saddled. Otherwise, each opponent loses that much life. So, just to summarize, you slam this and if you attack with it without it being saddled, you just, let's say, draw Masswood Dread Knight, you will take 2 damage, but if you'll saddle something and you draw Masswood Dread Knight, you'll deal 2 damage to your opponent, which is insanely powerful effect. I mean, even unsettled, this effect is pretty powerful. 2 mana, 2-2, two, two, that draws you a card whenever it attacks, it's fine. If you, ta if you take, I mean, it's fine, it's really good, but if you take damage, it's fine. You're playing mid-range, so it's not like losing life means that much to you, because you're pretty much fighting to close the game as early as possible. It only really depends if you're playing against aggro or other mid-range, but even then, it's not the worst. You still get value, you can still hit a land and not take any damage, which is insanely good. So it kind of depends on the variance, and most of the time you won't even take that much damage because our curve is 3. Uh, other than that, insanely powerful card if you can manage to settle him, which is quite easy with this deck because as you can see, we already have, we have a, he has a settle 3, so you need someone with 3 or more power. That's why we have the Masswood Red Knight, 4 copies, we got the Sentinel of the Nameless City, again 4 copies, and we got 3 copies of Glissa. So, so many targets that targets that you can hit, all of them are viable, you pretty much will see one of them at least. Uh, too bad you can't do this with Preacher, but that would have been totally busted. But yeah, still pretty much guaranteed to hit a saddle. I never played a game where I didn't have a target to saddle unless my opponent removed something, which actually happened quite often, but still. You have a lot of targets to saddle, and again, you force a removal out from your opponent, which is always good. And other than that, I believe this is just standard Golgari for the most part. Now, you will see another new card in here, which is really, really cool. It's the Gitrog, Ravenous Tide, which is a 5-mana 6-5 with Trample and Haste. Insanely good stats for cost, and also the keywords are just fantastic. And whenever he attacks, yeah, uh, whenever he deals combat damage to a player, you may sacrifice a creature that saddled it this turn. If you do, draw X card, then put X lands card from your hand into the, onto the battlefield tapped, where X is a sacrificed creature power, and you can saddle them for one. So, for the most part, you just want it for the draw. If you want to sacrifice something like the Masswood Red Knight, that's pretty much the premium combo. You really don't want to sacrifice anything else. You, the only reason you want to sacrifice the Mosswood is because you can use it to ramp and then just replay Mosswood. So that's really the just the combo behind it, the idea. You really don't want to sack everything else because board presence is super important for Golgari midrange and midrange decks in general. So yeah, that's pretty why pretty much why we only run two copies instead of three. Also, this card is kind of on the expensive side for our midrange deck, which is five. We definitely reach five mana with you know not extremely easily but you know we, we can reach five mana it's not really too much of an issue and of course yeah card is really really good if you can use it with the monster with red knight other than that just having like a five mana six five with trample and haste is just really fire can pretty much end the game on the spot if your opponent doesn't have the answer for it and really really powerful card for the rest of the deck, it's pretty much self-explanatory, you already know, it's the standard Golgari mid-range, but these two additions are really, really good for this deck, especially the Bronco. They just made this deck 10 times better. Insanely powerful deck, obviously, needless to say, you know, the deck has performed significantly well, you can easily use it to climb Mythic if you want to. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the main board, and for the sideboard, let's go vertical here. We have the usual stuff, we have the four copies of the Resses in case we are against a control player, which will never happen, nobody's playing control right now. We have one long goodbye, I'm actually considering putting two. We have the Path of Peril, three copies in case we are against aggro, or hyper aggro, should I say. Again, one more Nissa in case we are against a Traxa, or, or control. Liliana of the Veil, same thing as Nissa, just again, control and a Traxa decks, really good against them. 
Tranquil Frillback, same thing. You want to have a Graveyard Interaction, also it can destroy enchantments and stuff. Really, really good. And one more copy of Shellies in case you are facing decks which require more Shellies. So maybe decks that relies on card run stuff or can deal with a Shelly that good. So really, really good card to include in your deck. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the sideboard and the main board. In terms of, uh, you know, playstyle, standard Golgari stuff, you just want your cheap stuff. If you can get Caustic Bronco in your opening hand, that's insanely good because it can snowball out of control relatively quick. And the rest is just, you know, <laughs> slam your stuff, win game, hit face, right? I mean, hit face, win game, you know, that, that order. But still. So. Pretty much all there is to it. These are the lands. Obviously, the, by the way, the new land is absolutely booming. The Blooming Marsh. Finally, finally Golgari got their uh, early land. That That is so good. That is so good. I'm so glad for this land as well. So I feel like it deserved a shout out. And we do have Cavern of Souls just in case. We, you know, we already have the mana for everything we can want. So why not put Cavern of Souls in and just secure uh, the creature drops. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I really hope you try this deck out because it's super fun to play. I'm a huge Golgari enjoyer. And if you did, let me know in the comments below. But that's all for now. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one. Play me. Okay. That's a fine hand. Therefore, I keep. I like the fact that we have the creature land into the blooming marsh. Oh, finally. He returned. I mean, everyone just start a game of Magic and then absolutely leave their PC or something. And then you, like, have to wait for, like, two minutes until they arrive. Which is so stupid. Okay, we're playing against combo. Good to know, good to know. At least we have Dread Knight. Yep, Dread. Really wish we had more than zero units in hand. But it is okay if you end up killing the Mosswood, I guess. Okay, Sentinel is... Outstanding draw. Okay, kill it. Do the thing, please. So next turn we can play him. Good. So counter spell. Clearly saving something. What? Oh, it's Demir Poison? What in god name is he doing? Shame on this guy. Actually shame on him. Yeah, it is Dimmer Toxic. Okay. Oh, well, sure. Oh, we got the monster. There you go. No counter spell for you because I have the mana to pay for it all. Uh, let's put the counters on you. Assuming we will hit a counter and not a land. Even though if we hit a land... No, that would be bad. We have five. Yeah, Preacher of the Schism. Incredible. We'll keep him. And that's exactly why we did the thing. That's exactly why we put it on a mass with Red Knight. And I guess... Nah, we should go for a Throat. Whatever he's going to play. Let's we'll save go for a Throat mana. Oh, that's an Exile. Okay, that's fine. I'm not gonna waste uh, go for the Throat. I have too much good stuff. This kid has haste. We'll go face. No need to saddle. Mm -hmm. Again, he's just dealing with our units. We are pushing damage. That's totally fine with me. Sure. It has trample, so I really don't care. Uh, yep. Yep, saddle. Yep, sacrifice. Turn into a land, please. Huh. Do you wanna... Nah, I think we just win. Yeah, let's decline. I actually think we just win. Yeah, there's not a single combination of play here that actually win him. It can bounce the two of these. Anoint with Affliction. Oh, okay. 
That was unexpected. I actually forgot it had a secondary effect. Nice. We did end up getting a land. So, let's preach to the schism and do the other shenanigan tree. And that's exactly the problem with all of those proliferate decks. The moment you're playing against an aggro or mid-range deck, you instantly lose. It's only really good against the tracks on control. It completely annihilates them, but... Yeah, if you're playing against aggro or mid-range, you insta-lose. That's like the problem with these decks. That's why I never understand why people play them. But, sure. So now that we know he plays this... Uh, we definitely don't want Deer Ass. We definitely want Shelly's and Lily. Shelly and Lily's are really good against them. They're actually good. Making him discard all of his stuff. Cut down is good. Go for Throat is kind of fire. I don't know. Everything is kind of good. I guess we're just winning. But we don't really need Go for Throat. We just kind of want to push for damage. So we'll take Lily instead. And Shelly. And long goodbye. That's it. Now this hand could have been absolute fire if it had lands. Okay, this way better. I guess we'll bin... One death gap? Yeah, because we want to be untapped. We'll bin one land because we only need one land to make this entire hand kind of Gucci. Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll play Taplan first. So he's starting to proliferate already. Let's bat. He has a counter. Okay. Sure, enjoy countering the bat. Totally fine with me. Really good. We have a free Gliss on the way then. And that's exactly why the bat needs to be banned, by the way. It's just the best card in the game. You honestly can't deny it. Enjoy countering the second, gl uh, the first Glissa. We have a second one on the way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. That's exactly why we kept a handful of creatures. No way he's gonna top that a counter spell every turn. He already wasted two. Mm -hmm. No bounce even. That's actually huge. Okay, Vraska. Okay, maybe we should have bat. The Glissa was kind of gritty. I totally did not expect the Vraska. So, this, and now let's bat. And Noik with Affliction, he had another answer. Crazy, dude, crazy. Dude is absolute mad. Holy, that's insane. Holy, that's crazy. I can't believe he actually had a perfect hand. If he, he got a removal he won on the spot. He did indeed. Okay, respect, respect. Now I'll start and I win. Again, the only way they can win is if they draw perfectly. Is if they draw exactly and if they get to start. If I got to start, they would have played the bat and got his counter spell and won on the spot. Insta GG. Insta GG. But I was on the draw. Yeah, we definitely keep this. This is quite the hand. And this is, again, what I totally hate about magic. The fact that if you're on the draw and on their play, it just... It's just a win or lose situation. Like, being on the play is so much... It's ten times better than being on the draw. I like Legends of Runeterra because they had this unique system where you just play. Like, it was way better. Like Your opponent gets to play, you get to play. At the same turn, it was way better. It was definitely a way better system. Okay, good. Oh, we're in the top, I can land. That's insane, they're good. Oh, we actually kind of need to land. Let's bin this guy. 
Caustic Branco. We will attack, we'll try to push for damage. If he defends, that's insanely good for me. Because it has Trample. That would be very unwise to defend. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. And if we can secure Liliana, that's actually nuts, but I kind of want a Sentinel here. Kind of do really want a Sentinel. Cut down. Okay, now we Lily. 100%. Happy to help. Don't you have a lot of creature removal. He doesn't have anything against the Lily. He's facing with some tough decisions. He's being faced with them. We are losing the Dread Knight, but that's totally fine. We get the win instead. Yeah, he literally cannot even decide. Path of Peril kick. Yep, yep. Shelly could have been nice. Oh, sure, counter it. By all means. Oh no, he's just gonna straight up kill it. Okay, we're gonna minus two the Lily then. Oh wait, we can actually just plus one. I don't care about the poison. It's one for one trade. You won't be outsmarting me. Yep, serum. Counter spell. If the spell matter. Oh, okay, so we did have the counter. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Annoyed with Affliction, perfect. Pretty much wasted everything he got. Okay, I need a land. Thank you. And I do want to play the Aklatot. So let's make you sack. I've always hated crowds. I can potentially play him if I top deck a land. Shelly is insanely good. Mm -hmm. Yep, go for it. No block. Ah, you couldn't be more annoying. Land me. Okay, no, don't tap land me. No. Oh. Uh, let's see what we get here. If we get a land here, we can plus the Lily. We gotta cut down. It's actually kind of fire. Yeah, we won. We said we, we should have. We still would have plus one. I mean, yeah, we we secured a win the moment I played Lily. I knew I already won this game. He had absolutely no chance of dealing with her, and he knows that. So <laughs> so we just ended up taking the game here. Okay, GG though. That is indeed a fine hand. And I know what we're doing with fine hands. We keep. So let's see what our opponent is playing. Might. Okay, that... Doesn't reassure me, actually. I have absolutely no idea what the hell is this. Angel! So, Angel Tribal. Okay. Interesting. Oh, definitely play you. Uh, let's see what you got there. Literally the most annoying card in game. Nice get lost. Uh, let's force a get lost out of you. Let's force a get lost out of you. I don't want you to play this. Enjoy using prime removal on a 1 1. Enjoy. Literally the best card in the game. Yeah, he doesn't even want to do it. Which makes total sense. So, Preacher of the Schism. No attacks, of course. Kick Vigilance. He doesn't even want to do it, because he knows it's bad play. Like, what are you gonna do, man? Surf. Okay, that kinda sucks, not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. At least we can kind of attack with a preacher. 
without being afraid. Oh, the flame top deck is massive. So, that's a Shelly moment. She will die, but it's fine. I guess we should have attacked first. Should definitely attack first. But now we have defenders. Oh! He defended? Why would you defend? That is extremely odd. Alright, that only add colored mana. He doesn't even have white. I mean, why to cast this? I just now realized because this is uh, for the tribe he chose. Okay, great. I don't think he runs any AoEs, so I can straight up just do that. Should kind of do this. Let him defend with a might. And then we can all attack. Great. Yeah, he lost life. Perfect. I can't believe I actually missed the fact that... That was so stupid of me. I actually missed the fact that he doesn't have white mana. I should have noticed that earlier. But it's such a unique occasion where your opponent literally have the mana to slam the units, but like not the spell itself. Aurelia, the law above. Oh, she has vigilance? And that is sick. I guess nothing happens because he only attacks with this. She has a 6-6 six, six, though. Mm -hmm. And we heal a ton. Great to the dumpster. So, Baranko. It's saddled 3. So I have to saddle... Now I guess I'll... Wait. I will guess let's play you. Let's draw. Let's first we draw. Oh wow. Oh that's insanely good. But I kinda wanna saddle. But I guess yeah, let's kill you. Or okay, at least let's force him to lose all of his health. Yep. And that's almost Lathale. That's not indestructible, right? Hexproof and toxic one from that color. It can't be blocked. Yeah, good. So I guess we just all attack, right? Nah, we, we sit on that Shelly, probably. That is the right play. Let's sit on that Shelly. And then we can win with a final swing. That's probably it. Hopefully he won't get that land. He got really lucky with the units though, that's for sure. He blocked me entirely. Great, he didn't hit that land. Perfect. Literally the bat won me the game straight up. Yep. He draws one, but that's Shelly sticking. If that's not land, that's an... Yeah, it's not land. Oh wait, he already played one. So it doesn't matter. Steel Surf. This thing is tapped. Great. Well, we can play you and saddle. And that's an all attack. I believe, right? Uh, this guy needs to be blocked by these two. And that's... Le Wait, he has... One, two, three blockers. Shelly gets blocked. You get blocked, you get blocked. That's two damage. No, I need Shelly alive. So I need everyone but Shelly to attack. Right? Yeah, that's only two damage. And I need a Bronco to hit. Oh, I actually forgot about the fact that, yeah, when everyone... Okay, yeah, I totally forgot it's a dual-sided effect. That actually came to buy them right back. Okay, I totally forgot this was a dual effect. It also applies to you. Okay. I totally forgot about that. That's funny, at least I'll <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Wow, you never see this card, so I completely forgot about this part. Okay. I guess good. And yeah, we definitely need long goodbyes. Long goodbyes are kind of Gucci here. Uh, we have all removal. Sadly, we just didn't draw that much. Aclatots is absolute garbage. 
Nissa is garbage. All he has is flying. We really want Lily because she can bypass all of his stuff. Gate rock can kind of, Gate rock can kind of slam, but I do prefer Shelly's here. I do prefer Shelly's. Clearly, she's superior. And yeah, maybe that's it. Oh, I don't really think we need more than that. I think this is fine. So let's straight up go for it. This is actually hilarious. I totally forgot about this interaction. I didn't even know I had lethal right now. But I guess he forgot as well. I'm not a huge fan of this hand. But I'll keep it. If I'll mulligan this, I'll get one land and I lose. So I'll rather just bet on this one. It has removal, it has creature, which I really like. Cutdown is fantastic. Looming Marsh. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, you need to go. I really want to play something here, but I need a removal. So we need to play Bronco Force first. There's a Surf. At least he doesn't get Giga buffed. I assume it's a she, even though it's like a piece of machinery. Oh, she can be destroyed with this, actually. That's actually true. Because that's an artifact. So we can actually destroy it. Okay, that's kind of sucks. I guess let's wait. Rest in peace to the Bronco. Mm -hmm. Okay, unfortunately we got Olander. I kind of counted on the fact that we'll see some units. Okay, I need Creature. I need to draw soon. Shelly's kind of fire, but if he wastes his removal on this, this is totally fine with me. Splendid Angel. Please don't have heals, please. Okay, good. All we got is land, but it's fine. Let's attack. All oh, right, we're not drawing. Totally forgot. Well, at least he can defend. Oh, he had a Ganja as a final card. Sure. All he has is flyers. Well, we have to top deck something. I mean, we both flooded. We both flooded, but at least I'm healing. I mean, I guess technically he's also healing. Oh, but he created. Yeah, he won. Yeah, I flooded. I should have mulliganed, but if I mulliganed, I would have lost. So, yeah, I was kind of just betting on it. There's, no, there's nothing else to be said. You, you only know this in retrospect, but I'm 100% sure that if I mulligan that, I would have lost. Okay, this is way more solid. We have four lands this time. And a lot of removal, just the way I like it. Bronco moment. We just need one unit. One unit and this hand is absolute gas. Okay, that is insanely good, but I need you to die, unfortunately. So instead, we'll just draw and lose health, instead of our opponent losing health. Or not, we'll draw for free. That's it. That is indeed the fire. Still surf, and you know I have the besager. So, this into you. We can we get to see what's on top. Land perfect. Saddle. Nice. Ended up causing damage. This combination is really good. The map token into the thing. Okay, Giada. Font of hope. 
angel. So, well, we definitely killed the angel. That's uh, something we know for sure. And if we play preacher, we can saddle. If we play Mosswood, we can. That being said, I I do really kind of want to draw, but I guess Mosswood is okay. Yeah, Mosswood is way better because we technically draw and deal him damage. So, it would have been way better. It would have been way better. DG though. Play me first. Ah, uh, I'm not a huge fan of this hand, but I guess we have a battle keep. That's a very high curve. An opponent mulligan. I really do like the feeble tap card art here. I can appreciate that. Unfortunately, we don't have a an untapped land. Okay. Oh, there we did. Good. Battable a moment. Oh. Flying lifelink. Whenever an objective entered by a drone, get one thing on the turn. Okay, not gonna lie, everything's kind of trash. We'll take this. Take this. I mean, taking one of them won't do anything. It has flying, but there's nothing I can do about that. Like, there's not a single thing I can do about that. You have a direct counter to my deck. That being said, we do have a Nissa. We do have a Nissa which we can draw. He played it wrong. Okay, good. Well, we have Shelly at this point. Kind of wish we had that earlier. But let's drop a Shelly. See him get confused. The only possible removal he can have is something with white, which I'm totally down for. I mean, we got the Shelly. I don't care, we're just healing like crazy. And we have anti-counter spell. Uh, Marwa, Scout, do you share by any chance any traits? Nope. Guess we'll go for Warrior. And we'll go for the Bronco. And let's all attack. Pretty sure it doesn't run anything. That's remotely close to a board clear with this deck. So now he has a counter spell active, but at this point I don't think I care. I already developed. Private Eye. Yeah, he's playing Detective Tribal. Oh wow, he healed everything. That is crazy. We're both kind of swinging and healing. Well, that being said, I do have Denissa. So, apologies in advance, kiddo. Let's plus up in here. And let us saddle. Full attack. I'm gonna go on you full swing, baby. Oh yeah, take two damage. Good, good. Insane amount of damage. Insane amount. And the shell is just does wonders. Private eye. Yeah, he's gonna... Brother, that's almost lethal. Oh my god, that's insane. Yeah, that is actually crazy. God damn. Uh, put Vassar on target creature you control. Yeah, it doesn't do any damage. God bless. Well, I have lethal now, but still, that was, that was extremely scary, dude. What the hell was that? Yeah, we plus in the saddle. We cottaging. And that's lethal. That is indeed La Salle. Okay, let's saddle you. Let's see. We the map token. If do we have a land on top? Good. We have a unit, we know that for sure. Full swing. And he's dead. Bang, 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 bang! Good. Oh my god. That was actually crazy. That was crazy close. <laughs> I really like his deck. Actually, Detective Tribal. Unfortunately, we had Shelly, which is an S tier card. So yeah, he ended up losing. Nissa was also incredibly good. That being said, he is kind of cringe.
So we do want to put Longi the buy in, or maybe Lily. I feel like Lily's kind of fire. Uh, I actually think our deck is just naturally good against it. I don't think we need to add too much. We definitely don't need to add too much. I mean, Nisa did do wonders here, but that was just luck. We should definitely take her out. I think, man, I hate that fart noise by the horse. <laughs> it's so weird. Um, Gitrog, I don't know. He's playing Detective Tribal. Uh, I'm not really sure if I see it. But still, okay, that's pretty good. We don't want to keep up flyers. We'll put another Shelly in. I don't think Lily's good. Yeah, there's a lot of cheap units. I don't think Lily's that great. So yeah. Just end up doing that. Ooh! Ooh! If this hand had one more land, it would have been insanely juicy. But we'll keep this. This is good. Untapped land and one tapped land is perfect. He mulligan to four, so I literally win the game. That's good to know. How many lands do we have there, Chief? Oh, it's memory deck. Okay, cool. Let's take uh, one of the few cards you have there. Nice, Kellen. I don't really care. Yeah. This color is problematic. You can he can't play that. So that's really good for me. And that's a game. You know what? Let's just straight up draw because I want land. Okay. I guess uh, we won't. <laughs> sure. Go for it, Chief. Well, yeah, that's a game. That's a game, King. You tried. You tried. Never mulligan get to four. It's literally an instant loss. It's better if you keep a 2-lander than mulliganing to 4, or even 5, but yeah, GG.